Let's talk about the next big thing. 40 grand. I got Nicholas here because I wanted him to come on today's live show because how much were you making like two years ago? Everyone maybe, saw you on my Instagram post. Maybe a thousand a month. Thousand a month and you did what? Last year or then the last year you've done how much? Uh, I'll do about 350 gross. 350 gross year. and 80% margins. So yeah. 250,000 net. About. That's not quite 40 grand a month. You're at about this pace right here net. Yeah. But that's not a bad net. How would that, I'm, I'm gonna be answering some questions and I wanna talk about the next big thing because there's always a next big thing. In 1994, the next big thing was caught, the trend was caught by Jeff Bezos. It was Amazon, now he's the richest man alive, trillion dollar company. Um, in, before that, 1984 and even before, there was Steve Jobs caught the next big thing. And whether, you know, life's not all about money, but it is easier with a little bit of money. How, how, how does life feel going from 11? And by the way, if you're wondering how he did it, you got into one of my programs, what, how long ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Are you an actor? No. No? No. No. <laughs> people always like, no. people, the world is so asleep that people automatically assume everything is like fake, which is fine. I get it. There's a lot of people tricking people, but this is not tricked. No, no, and no. how does it feel going from... Just so people here can know, because every one of us, you, me, we, you weren't born into rich parents, were you? No. No? What do your parents do? Um, Never, I should have Mom, stay-at-home mom. Okay. Was a nurse. Dad's director of operations at a company. Cool. So. Was he making more money than you're making now? No. Never? No. So you're the big earner now. I am. Do they look at you different? Uh, yeah, actually, I actually picked up a Maserati. <laughs> that was my gift to myself. <laughs> oh, I thought you were say it's a gift to your parents. No, a gift to myself. So, so you, they he, pull up in that. <laughs> yeah. I pull up in that. You pull in that just <laughs> yeah. to show up your dad? Uh, say, no, dad. He's proud. He's proud. He's, he's proud. He's a proud dad. <laughs> um, so the, we're going to talk about a little bit how he did it, what I showed him how to do on this live call. Um, I showed him techniques that are still available and I'm going to show you, you know, two years ago, he started to get trained, but now I want to talk about the next 2.0 version of what I showed him. And he was basically, you know, he's making money online. By the way, it used to be thought to be a scam to make money online, but now it's kind of accepted. And yeah. Most people, if you, I remember, because I started a lot more than 10 years ago and people were like, make money online, man, you should get a real job, blah, 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 blah. And now it's just everybody that you see made money online. You have Jeff Bezos, Amazon's online, replacing stores. Warren Buffett, even he, he just bought more shares in, you know, big companies like Apple. And Apple, even though it's an offline company, it's still electronics to connect you online. That's what you do with your iPhone. You don't really, not many people are using it as much for phone calls. So... Look, I, I mean, he's, he's got to go here in a little bit. I just wanted to come on here for a few minutes. Oh, we got to reset Twitter. Yeah, reset. Just reset Twitter all over. Um, so if you want to have, I remember the first time I got one stack in my bank account per month. Ten grand a month. A stack of cash a month. And it just changed my life. I was like, yes. And I didn't even have all this stuff that you guys can learn from, man. You didn't have Instagram, you didn't have YouTube videos, you didn't have any online, that, no one was doing this. You had pretty much college. You had high school and college if your parents didn't know what they were doing. That was their two choices. I didn't have enough money um, to go to college, really. I tried, I, it was too hard, like I had to balance stuff and I couldn't really be full time. So I just went, jumped in it, started making money. And 10 grand a month. When did you start? How long did it take you to make 10 grand a month? Mm. Are we live on Twitter? About 11 months. I think Twitter has to be upside down, no? Oh, no. Yeah. Update. Yeah. It's good. Oh. What's up, Twitter? Oh. What up, Twitter? You guys didn't reset. We're talking about how Nicholas is making this much per month net 20,000 a month. I'm trying to, I'm going to show him next big thing. I'm going to get him up to this stack 40 grand a month. Sounds good to me. He got himself a Maserati. <laughs> that's good. You know, that's the first nice car. I got myself a Mercedes, and then I got a 
I got a um, Maser Maserati in like 2005, I think, or something yeah. like that. It's fun. Yeah, you like it's it. Fun. We gotta keep you keep you moving up now. Yeah, for sure. The reason we're doing this live call is not to talk about Nicholas or talk about myself, um, but. Oh, look, here's somebody else doing the same thing. Easy fit on YouTube. For those wondering, the client I closed today is $2,000 a month on a three-month contract. So he, cool. this guy, I don't even know who this is, easy fit on YouTube, 6000 a month contract, uh, 6000 total contract. And so I'm just going to ask you a few questions before you go. So yeah. because I want, before I'm, I'm going to lay out like the 2.0 version of what Nicholas did. Nicholas got in at the 1.0, which made him, you know, 20 grand a month. And um, so here's the thing. Describe what it was like. You got in. Yeah. How much money did you put in to start your online business, which in this case was a social media marketing agency? Sure. So I bought the program, which was a thousand. Yeah, the it was a thousand bucks. Yep. And then it was like a hundred, 150 bucks for the state filing fee for, oh, my for LLC. LLC. Right. And that was it. And I had, so you were 1100 bucks yeah, in yeah. and you made this in the last 12 months, 250,000 net. Yeah. That's a good return on your money. I would say. That's I don't, a real I don't know good anything term. else, uh, any other investment other than in you that gets you that kind of money. Yeah. It's not just me. And by the way, it's not me. I don't have a cult for people. I don't want no. it to be like the cult of Thai, but um, it's the cult of making money in the way that soon will be outdated, by the way. By the time you have kids watching, they're going to be like, oh, you were making money online. That's so outdated. They're going to be on to like using virtual reality and they're going to have like headsets on and God knows. I don't even know where yeah. the world's going to go. So you always have to catch this next trend. 2015, 2016 was when I rolled this out. You got in in 2016 or when, when did you get in? End of 2015. Like yeah. The very end. Yeah. After Christmas. Yep. No, that was the end of 2016. That was 2016. Oh, okay. It's two years. You forgot. It's 2018, man. Two, two years. Do the math because I launched in so October 2016. Yeah. So um, I was just in Palm Springs and all these people were writing me like, Ty, I can't figure out how to make money. And I just went, if I was broke, what would I do? And I go, I know what to do. Make a social media marketing agency. Here's like the map. So tell me if you agree. This is, I'm going to show you the old version. And then later I'm gonna show you the 2.0. So the old version has him here. He's gotta get to 2.0 version, which stacks the cash. 40 grand will be better than 20 grand a month, right? So here was the old formula. Basically, in a nutshell, here's you. I don't know how much money you're making now. When I started, I was sleeping on a couch in a mobile home. Okay, basically homeless. I was couch couchless, I mean, uh, bedless, I was on a couch, right? So for me, that's where I was. You go and you ask yourself this question, who has money? Okay. A lot of people forget that they go, I want to make more money, but you have to ask who has the money. And a lot of people go to individual people, mm -hmm. but if you look at the world, you know, who has the most money companies. So the answer is, Businesses, businesses, like every day you drive by, if you start paying attention, I guarantee you, if you drive to work, you drive by 50 to 100 businesses. And some of those businesses are making a lot of money, even a little pizza store. There's a guy, one of my business, old business partners, Mike in North Carolina, he's got three business, little pizza stores, like in a strip mall, those little ones. And he nets like 500, he's doing five, uh, over 500 grand a month for 10 years. I mean a year, a year, 500, so he's doing 40 four stacks a month. And you know how many little little strip mall stores you, you go by? So if you go to Mike, let's just take Mike, for example. So you go to a business, in this case, for example, a pizza restaurant, a little pizza joint, right? You say to them, I'm gonna help you make money. Everybody listens to that. You walk in the door, like do cold calling, where you're like trying to sell candy bars or you're trying to sell vacuum cleaners. A lot of people will say, no, I don't care about that. I don't need a vacuum cleaner. I don't need candy bar. But if you say to them, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna make you more money, you money, people pay attention. So how can you do that? Well, easy. The pizza restaurant or dentist or whatever, they need paying customers. 
Most business owners are about 55 years old in America and really around the world. Most successful business owners are uh, businesses are owned by people over 55. So they don't know the internet. So you go to them and you say, you want more paying customers? Let me run your social media for you, your email marketing. Let me run your um, website, optimize it. Then I'll generate leads and more people to your pizza store. And then they say, great, let me start. And you say, one thing, I got a little contract here. I ain't doing this for free. I want, and you charge them between one and $10,000 a month. Now, what's your average customer? What are you charging now? Uh, three to five K. Three to five K. The better you get, the more customers you have. Like your first customers, how did you charge less to your first customers? That's grand, yeah. Yeah, so you did what I said. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So here, come in a little bit, because okay. I don't want your head to get cut off. Sure. So you're doing 1,000, mm. and now that you're better, you're like, yeah, well, I'll do like three to five. Yeah. 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 And eventually Someone, you'll be even more because if you do, uh, when you get good and you get confident, you can do like different deals, commission deals and yeah. all that. Well, that's 2.0 version. This 1.0. Now, here's the crazy thing. If you get just three, three businesses to pay you, let's say an average of 2K a month, that's $6,000 a month. And I, let me tell you this. Since I launched this program, I've trained more than 25,000 people in, I think last I counted, like 70 countries, because this doesn't, is not just for the United States. It, the amount of testimonials is insanity land. I mean, it's like I, I used to carry on my phone 700 people. That's not all of them, but that's all I could fit in my WhatsApp without scrolling for like 15 minutes. 700 people showing checks showing 10 G's a month, showing some people just another grand a month, three grand. Top student first year 2016 did, um, Jaden did 1.2 million, and I think he's now on his way to doing, I think, six million or something. He's branched out into multiple, because once you have success, once it takes money to make money. So once you start getting 10, 20, do you have more opportunities now opening up to you? 100%. Yeah. yeah. We have some we can't even talk about. We were talking about offline. You got some opportunities to expand like crazy. Yeah. Big people coming yeah. to you. Yeah, for sure. Because now you have a valuable skill set. Yeah. I mean, that's what, they're, that's what they're buying. So like, I mean, colleges aren't even teaching this. Like I got invited no. to speak at USC really? on Facebook ads. Yep. And the professor was like, this is such new material. And I was just talking basics. So it's like so the, people the, paying 60K USC a year. is one of the <laughs> top and most expensive business schools in the world. Yeah. And undergrad. I think USC undergrad is like 50 grand a month, a year. Yeah. Maybe even more. Yeah. Undergrad. Yeah. We ain't talking about PhD, medical degree. And you're going in there walking in, somebody who never make money before. I mean, you were making 12 grand a year before. Yeah. And you walk in and all of a sudden you see in the game of life, especially business, as the saying goes, you know, bullshit walks and, and there's different things that talk. But when it comes to business, just money talks, not in the sense of materialistic, but you go to the USC professor and you go, I'm making $20,000 a month. And all of a sudden people are like, ooh, I respect you come teach in my class. Mm -hmm. And that's not why you do things. You should never do something just for her here. Ryan Japper says, I go to USC. Undergrad is 60 plus just for tuition. Mm -hmm. Not counting food, probably. It's insane. And USC is a great school. But I want to tell you, look, this formula, I've, I've, I remember making 10,000 a month. So this is my challenge for you, Nicholas. I'm going to let people ask a few questions before you go. For sure. 10,000 a month I remember making. Then I remember how to make, I was making 10,000 a week. That was a big breakthrough in my life. So that, that's 10,000 a week is 40,000 a month. That's where we gotta get you. And then I remember making, figuring out how to make 10,000 a day. That was in about 2008. I figured out how to make 10,000 a day. I was one of the first people to use Facebook ads. It was back in, I think it was either 08 or 09. 
right around then. They had a beta program, I jumped in it. So 10,000 a day, that's the next level. I call this just the rule of tens. You just go up by adding another zero or changing the parameter here. Then I remember how to make 10,000 an hour. And that was a different thing because 10,000 an hour, if you do it for a full 24 hours, is quarter of a mil a, a day. <laughs> I remember doing that and going, whoo, I wonder if you could make any more than that. And then I remember doing 10 grand in a minute, you know? And I, that's as far as I've gotten. The next, I haven't figured out how to consistently make 10,000 a second. That's crazy money. I do not yet know how to do this, but you know, my life's not over yet. This one I figured out, 10,000 a minute, I can't always do that, but I've done, you know, I've done a million bucks in an hour before. That's 10,000 a minute uh, times 60 minutes is what? 600,000 in an hour, I've, I've beaten that. So this one's tough. This is 10,000, this is 600,000. Is Bezos making that now? 600,000 a minute? Yeesh. I don't know. That Jeff Bezos, yeah, I mean, some of these Bezos guys are making crazy money. Yeah. Um, I had dinner with Steve Ballmer, you know, these guys with $32 billion. But anyway, let's not even go crazy. Like, let's stay in the land of reality. You're not gonna just go, you don't skip. Don't try to skip. When you skip, it's like skipping up the stairs. You, you go stipping up, skipping up concrete stairs, you're gonna fall and break your face. So I see a lot of people going too fast. You're right here. Well, you're a little past this. You're like transition, you're like right there. Working on it. So let me, I, I wanna ask you the first question. I'm gonna let yeah. you guys ask some questions live. Um, getting customers, that was people's like biggest fear and you're somewhat shy you're not super extroverted and not you're like in between i'm right in the middle yeah but you're not like this person that just goes out and talks to strangers and sure. stuff how did you learn to get paying customers like what was your thing that helped you you know i think going into whether it's a networking event whether it's on the phone in person if you know what you're talking about the fear kind of goes away right and once they realize that you're sharp and you have answers to their questions, um, and you know, you're not kind of stumbling around. That, and that confidence just comes from knowing your stuff. And yeah. you, did, you did the work, and you learned from the best, and then you, know, you, can, you can project that outward, and it's easier for people to trust you when it seems like you actually know what you're talking about. Absolutely, so basically what you're saying is, once the training kicks in, you got trained, because mm -hmm. we, I, initially we had a four month program training, you went through, you got certified. Yep. Once you got that, then this is what one of my mentors says. He played pro basketball, his name is Pooh Richardson. Played against Michael Jordan. He says, first game in the NBA, he played against Michael Jordan as a rookie. And he said, your competence is your confidence. Yeah. See, as you build competence, all of a sudden you're confident and people buy into your confidence and go, I want you to work with me. So. The problem in the modern school system that each person watching is dealing with is like school, you come out of school not competent in making money, so you have no confidence. Mm -hmm. When you have no confidence, people don't believe in you, then you stop believing in yourself, and that, that, that's like a downward spiral. Next thing you know, I see comments right here just saying things like, you know, I'm making, I got $27 in my bank account. I gotta get you guys to a place, and this is one of my goals in life, is to go out there and train um, millions of people through the internet. Obviously I can't do it in person. Myself and other people that I bring in that are experts. And we've done that. I think we hit 100 million people we've helped yeah. that have watched yeah. something, maybe 30 seconds of a video or some of them 30 hours. Yeah, and I know some people think like, okay, if I don't have any clients already, like how am I gonna get around you know, them asking, well, who else have you worked with? Right. Like, I just want to say my first client didn't even ask me that yeah. question because I just knew what I was talking about. Exactly. People don't ask that much, guys. Don't be afraid of your shadow. <laughs> People are afraid of their shadow. Yeah. People are literally afraid of stuff that hasn't even happened yet. Right. Hey, can you turn on the Twitter comments here, Adrian? Sure, yeah. Okay. What's a question that people have before Nicholas goes? 
Lewis 12 236 says, hey, Nick, love the grind. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Someone says. Someone asked, what's your first customer? Who was your first, what business was your first customer? He's in what legal, kind? legal services. So like a lawyer? Yeah. 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 Yeah, lawyers. Man, everybody could be your customer. Lawyers, doctors, dentists, cosmetic surgeons, uh, mm -hmm. landscapers, res restaurant owners, um, realtors. Mm -hmm. Anybody who need, who doesn't need more paying customers? They have the budget to give you more money than you think. That's one problem with being broke. You don't realize how much money people have. Businesses have a ton. Dude, businesses have, if I had somebody good come to me and say, a thousand bucks a month, I'll fix a problem in your business. I can't even notice a thousand dollars in a month. Right, right. You don't notice it. So someone said, how long did it take you to get started on Twitter? Oh, it disappeared. How long did, so I, I went through the program um, I just went through like all the content as fast as I could Yep. and started going out and talking to people and I had my first client in like a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. There's a lot of people we have getting success about halfway through the program. Yeah. It's four and, months And program. I found that once you have that first one, it goes so much faster. Yep. Because you have the confidence. Even uh, let's first, Siberto, damn, these are coming fast here, says, how do you figure out the pricing structure? So. That's one of the things that we teach in the training, but basically start with a thousand bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Don't go too low. You go too low, you know, it's, you get burnt out. If I see people not listening or there's other people teaching social media marketing and a lot of them don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, just charge a hundred bucks a month. Well, a hundred bucks a month, yeah. you will burn out because to get, make a thousand dollars, you gotta find 10 businesses <laughs> and keep them all happy. Yeah. It's better, if anything, to go up. Why only a thousand? Well, a thousand's a good happy medium. This guy's greedy. B Core 8 on Twitter is like, why only a thousand then? <laughs> this dude went all the way the other way. <laughs> Somebody said, Ty, changed my life. Jose said, I'm gonna be your next student, brother. Uh, I'm gonna put the, can I do this here in Brazil? Fred Silva, yes. You just adjust to whatever country you're in. If you're in Brazil, you might not charge a thousand dollars but you could th charge a thousand reals or whatever the equivalent parity amount is. If you're in you know, India, you charge a different price. But there is not a place in the world besides Antarctica and some weird place, places that are uninhabited, not weird, but uninhabited places that businesses don't have money to spend on marketing. And they might as well be giving it to you because there's a lot of stupid people out there doing it that are charging them more money. Yeah. And okay. One of the things you have to learn how to do is like, be good at it. Right. You can't just charge people money. What's the thing you got best at first? Uh, for me, it was Facebook ads. Yep. Because if you can set up a system for a company where they consistently put a dollar in and get three, four, five, even ten back for some of my clients, they'll be with you forever. Yeah. If you can make someone money over and over, they'll be with you forever. Yep. Scott Isaac said very motivational videos online changed my perception on a lot of things. Thanks, Scott. And, and my goal as people is not just to motivate people, but like actually tangible, practical benefit. Like mm -hmm. your bank, you're getting this per month. And you might not get this per month. It's not a get rich quick scheme, you know. Um, but get an extra three grand a month. That starts changing your life. Even a little bit of money on a consistent basis starts to change your life. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one of the best businesses because it's recurring revenue. Yes. You know, you don't have to go like sell a new deal every time you need to get paid. Eric Johnson said, I don't have any money to invest into my social media marketing agency. Where do I start? What is your answer to him? Um, well, I mean, you can research like general content online and just have enough money to start your, your legal company. Yeah, it um, costs about a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. It's not that much to start a business in America anymore. You can go to LegalZoom. Yeah. I think their lowest one is a couple hundred bucks. Like Delaware or something. Yeah. Yeah. Can somebody tell, someone tell me who the other guy is? Which one? Gabriel Wynn says, keep it up, Ty. Damn, these come on thing too quick. Uh, Bobo B. Bobo Hee Hee? That's a very interesting Instagram name. I'm going to change mine. Ty Bobo B. Hee. B. B. <laughs> uh, are you talking about? Passive income or job-based? Joe Coase on Facebook is asking. Well, this is, the way to think about it is not passive. No income is completely passive, no. unless you have like a pension from the government. 
Um, so there's an active element, but the key is recurring. Yeah. Because yeah. once you get the customer once and you keep them happy, you don't have to go out and find another customer. Just keep them happy and they keep paying you. Right. You know, I, I have, let me see if I can, uh, let me log into something, Re answer a question here while who, I do this. So yeah, who, who do we have? There's like four different places. How many hours a week do you put in? Oh, here, let me show this real quick. Okay. So here's a business I have that has ongoing recurring income. So I have an incubator. We incubated a company called Mentor Box. It's at 21,000 today and the day's not over. And 21,816 payments, 167 new customers today. And that's a business, right now it's doing 880,000 a month. It's a low month. Sometimes it, it goes between 800,000 and 1.2 million. That's an, it's not a completely passive income because you have to pay attention, but I only pay attention to it like 20 minutes to an hour a month. But I still can and, and I have a CEO, Alex, business partner, co-founder, that watches it more, but it's recurring. We have 68,000, it's funny, the other day we had 67, my favorite number. Mm -hmm. 67, we had 60, we look at how many active paying customers. These aren't just free customers, but paying, we have 67,000 customers on recurring. Yeah. You gotta that's, get it, we gotta get you on that level. Yeah, that's what now I they're mean. not all paying a thousand a month, but um, you can make it up with volume. 67,000 oh, sure. people paying you even, you know, average of 10 bucks a month starts to add up. Look and at Netflix. Look at Netflix. <laughs> we're, I'm not on the Netflix. We're not on the Netflix train uh, level yet. There's levels to this, as they say. That's Netflix is at just past 100 million. How'd you like 100 million people paying you 10 bucks a month? Be a good Nicholas. <laughs> get with it, man. I know I'm going. I gotta slow. bring you back on here. We've got this documented, so we gotta bring you on here and be like, remember Nicholas when he was just making 20 grand net a month? Now he's making this in milliseconds. I'm gonna call you millisecond man. Okay. <laughs> better than millimeter man. You wouldn't want to be, but millisecond man is a lot better. Oh. Uh, Sam, thank you for the, Sam is the canned laughter in the background. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, how do you show a customer? Okay, last question. Startup Preserve or Startup Reserve says, how do you show a customer that 1K a month is worth it? So how do you convince, how did you convince your first lawyer customer? What was your second customer? Um, they were an e-com brand. So they were selling all yeah. stuff online, fashion or yeah. household stuff or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How did you convince them that, yeah, sign this contract to pay me a thousand bucks a month? Well, just you. Un so understand their business too. Like when you're going to come in and do marketing for them, if you understand the back end when you go in. So if you go to a lawyer or a dentist or a chiropractor and you say, "Hey, what's your average customer worth to you?" and they say, "Oh, one customer is worth two, three grand to me." So you're right. telling me that I would only have to bring you two customers a month to double your money. Yeah. And to them, like you know, one or two or three customers does not seem that difficult to do. Um, and it's not difficult to do on the marketing side either, is bring them, yeah. you know, even three, if you're just starting out and new paying clients a month, so. Yeah, if you got a lawyer, if you got a dentist, you go to them and you say, listen, like dentists, for example, or cosmetic surgeons, mm -hmm. some of them make $10,000 profit per customer. Mm -hmm. So you say, look, pay me $1,000, sign this contract, one thing grand a month, I'll do ads, plus you make them pay the advertising expense. So it's your fees, a thousand plus whatever marketing. So let's say you're like, oh, it's gonna be three grand or something on top mm -hmm. of that in marketing. You spend four grand and you bring them one customer in 30 days, 10 grand. They're gonna re-up their contract and be like, oh, let's spend more. And then you can up the price. Yeah, exactly. You can come up. Cause now you're valuable. Yeah, now they can't live without more you. Valuable, yeah. That's one of the big thing. Job security for all of you worried about the next recession, which will come, they always come. Guess what? Personal uh, safety comes from skill. You got skill, you're safe. People, man, if somebody's good, you don't fire good people, right. even in a recession. Mm -hmm. You fire the stupidest people or the least skilled, not just book smart, but the right. least skilled. Also, yeah, it's not like advertising shuts down during recessions, mm -mm. you know. Business it goes up. Money. Yeah. What does a contract look like? That's for people in the program. 
Yeah. We've got examples of the pro, uh, the contract. I mean, basically, you don't want to be too complicated or too simple. Um, you want it to protect you. You want it to have all the terms in there. You want it to have the dollar amount clearly listed. You want to have the ways that you can part working because you might not want to work with them anymore. So you got to have a way that you can back out too. So, um, yeah. Ty, can you guys, can you do this in New Delhi, India? Does New Delhi, India have businesses and stores? If the answer is yes, then the answer, my answer is yes. Somebody said they can beat people up. Well, Wainder8, you should join the UFC, man. But just remember, the UFC is also full of people that can beat people up. <laughs> and they may be able to beat people up better than you can, which means they're gonna whoop your ass. So, you may wanna pick a different profession. Um, I think that's good. I know you gotta go. I'm gonna yeah. keep talking. I'm gonna talk about the next, there's a next level. In fact, Nicholas and I just recorded, or he just recorded and I recorded the 2.0 version. You know how like you got like, this is now iPhones on iPhone 8.0 or 10 point, the iPhone X. And they get, who knows? I mean, in 20 years you can have like the iPhone 60. And there's a reason, because it, it's supposed to get better. It doesn't always, but yeah. I got a 2.0 version and that 2.0 version the goal is, next time I got Nicholas on here, he goes from this, 2.0, by that I mean it doubles it. So you've been to your two you years in, you gotta double it. Yeah. 40. It's time. Net. 480,000 a year. Line? By the next time you're on the show. All right. I'm gonna put the pressure on you. You're on the show tomorrow. Can you do it <laughs> in 24 <laughs> hours? You, you know what? If someone put a gun to your head, I, I you probably, probably could, could just I get on the could. phone and like call somebody. You can yeah. temporarily do it. Yeah. Alexander the Great 907 says, prove it. Prove what? You want me yeah. to prove that people have ever made 40 grand a month? Well, some people are not worth responding to. <laughs> but I mean, the proof, here's the proof. I know what you're saying. People are skeptical. They go, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you be skeptical about this? Why don't you be skeptical about the school system you grew up, grew up in? Why don't you be skeptical of the current economic system which doesn't even tell you about this stuff? So you gotta come to alternative sources like this here. You gotta be on like Facebook Live and Instagram. It's not mainstream. Why don't you be skeptical about that? Why don't you ask colleges to prove that it's actually worth spending $60,000 a year for an art history degree? People always ask me nice. to prove stuff, and I have. On H3H3, H3, he came with my second video, I pulled out the titles to cars. I had, but where's all the people going to USC and going to, Har or going to community colleges and going to literally thousands of colleges? Um, there's a college in LA called, uh, what's that one called? Billboards. The billboards they have. It's some little college, it's $43,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Where's the demanding of the proof for that? That's my question for you. Your public school education, if you went to public school, probably cost around $150,000 of taxpayer money. Where's the proof that you didn't get ripped off and that your parents and all the taxpayers didn't get ripped off because the only thing you learned was how to memorize stuff and do well on tests. So my answer is, you know, I don't know what kind of proof you want that Nicholas is making uh, money, but let's just say it's all false. Let's say it's not true. Let's say Nicholas is only making $3 a month. The question is, does this concept work? And if you can't see that this concept makes sense, it's, it's elegantly simple. And if you can't see that, then, then the truth is, nobody can help you. You're just gonna be stuck in the status quo. You're stuck in the matrix for the rest of your life. You're gonna be, you know, people are working at Walmart at 70 because they can't retire. People are working 40 years in a job they hate. So, mm -hmm. someone said, do you create social media pages for these businesses? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, depending on what Sometimes a Facebook page, Twitter. Yeah. A lot of businesses already have a little bit going. They got right. a little Twitter, a little Instagram. They right. don't know what they're doing, but no. You know. No, and uh, they don't wanna take the time to do it themselves too. You know, a lot of these businesses will sit down with, oh, I know we should be doing something, but we're not. Yeah. So you're like, you're, right now is the right time because 
people haven't quite figured it out on their own yet and like put a system in place so they can do it themselves. Yes. So when you sit down with them, some of them are almost pre-sold because they know they need to be doing something, but they just haven't yet. Yep. And you can be that piece that they need. Yep. Oh man. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep talking. Yeah. Everybody say bye to Nicholas. Um, Very cool. What's your Insta again? It's at, uh, at NM. Kirchner. Okay, like M and M? N M. Nicholas Michael. You ever seen that Chris D'Elia? You should put that Chris D'Elia doing M and M. You ever seen him rapping like M and M? The comedian? <laughs> that thing's funny. Alright, go go check him out on Insta. And uh, let me show you guys one thing before he goes. Thanks, man. Yeah, for sure. Let me show you something before you guys leave, before I leave, because I I gotta I'm traveling tomorrow. What's the 2.0 version? Nicholas learned the 1.0 version, the first iteration, the first kind of good version. I got a better one. So inside the Social Media Marketing Agency program, we've got like four months of intensive training. You can do it all on your phone, you can do it all on your computer, you can do it on your own schedule. It's, you don't have to drive to a classroom and sit in traffic. But here's the thing, there was a few things missing. And after putting 25,000 people through the program, I realized we got to add some more stuff. And so the 2.0 version, it, the, I want to, you got to develop ninja sales skills. And when I mean specifically, it's not just selling like vacuum cleaners or door to door, but closing clients. Let's talk up, let's talk on, so that's one part. So I've actually recorded a series of videos of exactly the script that you can read over the phone to a business owner, or you can do it in person, or you can use it for an email. The exact script, what to say, how to say it, what not to say, you just follow the script. And if you talk to 10 businesses, you'll get one to say yes. That's about the ratio. And as you get better, you probably won't have to talk to five. So an exact script, this is so important. And I didn't have this in the beginning. So people like Nicholas that went from making a thousand bucks a month to $20,000 a month profit, by the way, not gross. Guess what changed his, his life? He had to learn it all on his own. There wasn't a script. So now for those of you getting in here, like I said, less than a week left if, to get in the scholarship program. Um, I'm gonna throw in that script and a series of scripts from different people. How I would do it and how other successful people are doing. And that's massive. To have an actual, it's like, you know why people don't get lost as much anymore? Because you have a GPS. A GPS is like a script, you just type in LAX airport. And wherever you are, as long as you can follow right and left, which some people cannot do, um, but, but as, assuming you're smart enough, to know what right and left did, you, like a minimum IQ is needed. Boom, you turn right, you turn left, you get to the airport faster than you would have 20 years ago when you're like printing out MapQuest or using a compass in the stars that they did 100 years ago. That's the secret to getting yourself going with making money. You need a freaking script. And the 1.0 version of Social Media Marketing Agency taught a lot of stuff, but it, it wasn't, simple enough, or as simple as I'd like it to be, but still powerful, not simple and stupid. Does that make sense? So leave me a little comment if, this, if you're interested in getting in the 2.0 version. I'll talk about the price and we have even a payment plan. Remember, USC, not to pick on USC, is $60,000 a year, $60,000 a year to go. That's that is literally $5,000 a month to go. And this is not, um, I'm not gonna, this is where, I should charge this because people are coming out of undergrad education and they don't even know how to get, make five grand a month. They've been paying five grand a month but don't know how to make it back. So they go in debt, crazy debt. Some Stanley Willis said, I'm sick of being broke. Well, well, if you're sick of being broke, stop being broke.
And some would say is it's not easy, it's not as easy as said. It's not as easy done as it is said. Well, if you have an exact script, it is. An exact script. And the third thing in the 2.0, like I said with Nicholas, how, how he's gonna go from making this a month to this, easy. He's gotta learn how to expand and become an investor. There are techniques where he can start using his social media agency, not just charging $1,000 a month, but getting like 10% of the restaurant ownership, shares in the company. So he gets, as he gets better and better and earns the trust of the pizza restaurant, he can say, listen, I'm charging you $3,000 a month to do all the social media. See how much I've helped you here? Make me a partner in the business. And, they, and these might be businesses that have been built over 20 years, and they just go, boom, here's a piece of paper, you sign a legal document, now you're a business partner. That's where you really start to make money. That's where you really start to make money. Somebody says, oh man, is, it all, is the payment uh, plan just for the script? No, you still get four months. It's about 50 hours of training. At the end of four months, you get a certificate, certified. There's a, there's a test at the end, and you get a certification. And that's, it's not a college degree. You can't say you, know, you have a bachelor's, it's not accredited degree. But you got certified through the largest social media marketing agency trading system um, ever. It's the biggest one. Nothing's bigger than this. No college has more people have gone through it than me. And uh, I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying the certification means something. And also, you know, I know how to make money with social media. You're not learning from somebody. I did it, I didn't just teach it, I already did it. And then later, many years after, I was like, oh, I can teach it. So it's like learning to play basketball from a retired, you know, LeBron James or something. It's better, it's not like just some random person's teaching. I've got, you know, 13 million social media followers. And um, I know I've seen it make me money and my businesses. I just showed you Mentor Box here. That was all built off social media marketing. It just happens I also own the businesses, which is why I said that's, we'll talk about that later. That's, that's SMMA 3.0. But I kind of have that in SMMA 2.0. In SMMA 2.0, I'm gonna teach you how to not just do service business, but actually own the businesses. Like I own half of Mentor Box, which is the largest nonfiction book shipping company in the world. We got Walmart as a client. We've got um, you know, 67, 000, more than 67,000 now paying recurring members. Um, what about expanding publicity? Okay, someone's asking, what if you're already in SMA 1.0? You're fine. We will, for those of you in 1.0, as of right now, I'm just gonna upgrade you for free. I'm not trying to make money. I'm gonna do that for this week. Um, I may eventually add it as an add-on, but I haven't decided what to do with that right now. So you're gonna get this script stuff, those of you in the program. Now, if you're already in the program making money, we have other tools. You should be in my advanced live phone training. And if you're not in there, then we'll talk about that another day. You can go to my website and contact the support. For those of you already making money from, you got in the program last year or two years ago, we have an old, another set of training that you can do. But for those of you just starting out, that's what I'm recording for. You're getting, you're getting in at the right time, okay? Let's see. Is there any minimum qualifications or knowledge to take the course? No, I'm gonna take you from zero to certified. And it's four months, month one. So basically you're gonna learn how to set up the business. Month two, and it's not exactly, but just a rough outline. Rough two, uh, month two, you're gonna learn how to do it. You have to know, you gotta have the skill of like, how do you do the Facebook ads? How do you manage their email? How do you manage their website? Like, what do you do there? That's month two. And in month three, you're gonna learn how to start, how to get paying customers, right? And then month four is all about how to, once you got that first customer, the process of expanding the business. 
So I'm going to take you from nothing. Nicholas knew nothing. I had to show him how to get a, <laughs> is that a form of company? He was making $12,000 a year. So it, it, for those of you who already have skill, you can just skip stuff too. If you already know stuff, you just skip it. All right. Um, for those of you currently in the course, you will just get, you'll start seeing the new content in there. For those of you who are new, um, hold on one second. Need to check something. So I'm doing this test group. Like I said, how much time do we have left on Instagram? What's Instagram? Okay. Do do do. Hold on one second. I've been doing a new technique on my Instagram. I doubled my overall reach. It's been interesting. I'm just checking on it. Added another 11 million views or whatever. A lot of tricks up there, man. This social media game's here to stay. Kylie Jenner is the youngest billionaire in history because she built her little makeup line. It's not little, actually. And she's killing the game and she's making more money than all these people that have Harvard MBAs. And she's a mother, which, you know, she's got all this stuff going on in her life. It's like crazy. And yeah, we got a money back guarantee on this program. Somebody said, Ty, stop being skeptical and now I'm doing 10 grand a month. Ty, this video is real. Are you asking me if it's real or are you saying, oh, this looks real? It is pretty real. I pinched myself. I'm, I'm pretty real right now, as far as I can tell. Um, okay. I got to go in a few minutes. Be certified at something. Get the script. I'd love to invent a product. So for all those of you, who, by the way, this is also for good program for you to go through if you are doing something else, like maybe you own a restaurant or maybe you're launching your own clothing brand or maybe you're building your own personal brand. You still got to learn this stuff. When are people going to wake up to the fact that the online, the two most valuable properties you'll ever own is your website and your social media brand and sometimes an app, it, you know, like look at Amazon. They got their website and their app That's and their brand and it's worth a trillion bucks. That's the most important thing you'll have in the modern world. That's the future. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg's got, what, $60 billion at, in his 30s? Why? Because he has his website, his app, and of course, of course it's social media. I mean, he owns Instagram. So you've got to ask yourself, why am I not playing the game that winning people play? I don't know. People are asleep. That's, what I, that's the only thing that I could come up with. I've been showing, like when I first launched this, I understood why people were skeptical. But now it's like 25,000 people have gone. I've been posting for years. Like on my, so if you are on my Snapchat, my Instagram, you see these. I've been posting hundreds of testimonials that I didn't make up. Some of them we take the time to verify with my lawyer and accountants. We can't verify them all. I'm sure somebody's lied. But there's an insane amount. I meet people out on the street who just come up to me like, yo, you don't know me. A guy, I had a little thing at my house. It wasn't even for social media. And a guy just came up to me. He's like, I'm doing like, what did he do? $400,000 a year profit with my social media. There was a, if you watch my Snapchat, I don't know, six months ago or something, there was a kid here, built it. Oh, I'll tell you a cool story. I was in Australia. I went with Arnold Schwarzenegger to speak. It was pretty cool. Business talk I gave, then Arnold went after me. Now, Arnold's better than me, but I was just the warm up for Arnold, right? And uh, I'm out there, I'm walking around Melbourne, Australia, and a kid comes up to me and he's like, man, I'm 19 years old. He was like 19 or 20. And he goes, I'm like bored now. I go, why? He goes, I built a social media marketing agency, whatever he's making, 10, 20 grand a month. He sold it, some, a bigger traditional marketing agency, bought his agency, and I think he made like 400,000, and that's Australian dollars. It's a little less in America, but it's a lot, right? 400,000, he bought a piece of real estate that used to be, it was somehow, I forget how it was. It was like a historical place, and he changed the zoning somehow, and anyway, he turned, he rents it out, 
He's got like four units or something and he makes like 10 grand a month on autopilot. He owns the house and people, it's like in a great location in Melbourne, people rent it from him and he rents it for, I think it's, his net is like 10 grand a month and it's paid off and he's doing it and he's like 20. It's why, and I, that is not, I get lots of stories like that. Now, I'll be honest, not all 25,000 people who went into it had success because believe it or not, 25 to 30% of people who got in the program never logged in one time. So you, you can't blame me for that. Like this isn't magic. You can't just, it's not just buy the program, never log in. But on the flip side, you don't have to spend like my friend got a PhD, he was in college for 12 years. This is not a 12 year course, this is four months. And if four months is too much for you, like, mm, you're too impatient, you know? Diego Padilla said, Ty, you're the best mentor. I joined a month ago, I'm doing SMMA. He's in 67 Step, 12 foundations. When are you gonna do mastermind? I got a mastermind. That's been going, but, it's more for people that are a little more advanced. I don't offer that to, there's levels you gotta get in. So keep doing what you're doing, Diego, you know? Took me eight years for engineering to get my degree, says ibuild.inc on Instagram. Yeah, man. And I'm not saying you shouldn't go to college, I'm just saying do the math. Do the math. Daniel Zebu said he just got the social media marketing certificate. Let me read the name of some people that are going in the program. So you got, here's the thing. I'm gonna put this link. If you're on my website, you'll see it below. 